Hey guys, good afternoon. So I actually just got done filming. This morning I woke up, I got a video sent over, I got a vlog up, and then I dropped Riley off at daycare, picked myself up some breakfast, came back, got ready, filmed. Now I'm exporting the footage and sending it over to my editor because she helps me out so much. I love her. I could not do this without her, you guys. That's like the one thing that I have definitely needed since having a baby. It's really hard to edit now, unfortunately, because it takes hours and then I make mistakes because my mind is not fully focused because half the time I take care of Riley too and I can't get it all done in the hours that she's at daycare because I don't want her there too long. I want to be able to spend that one-on-one -on -one time with her. So it has been a huge lifesaver for me. So I'm getting ready to export the footage and sending that over. And then while I'm doing that, I'm actually going to make myself some lunch really quickly so that way I have food ready and like prepped for me. And yeah, so that's what I'm going to do right now. And then I still have to tackle the pantry i still have like all of these containers that i bought like oh my goodness i'm gonna do i don't know if i'm gonna include it into this vlog i might just have this vlog be itself and then i'll do a pantry organization video over on this channel for you guys i might film that tomorrow i don't think i'm gonna have time today because i want to pick her up in an hour and i still have to do all this other stuff but that is going to be a chore, but I'm gonna go crazy. I'm like literally going to gut that pantry. I am like so over it all because there's so much stuff in there. But now time to make some lunch. Hey guys, so back in the same spot, but I just finished eating. I just made myself some ground turkey with some cheese on it. Um, I also want to show you guys my phone case and my pop socket right here. Okay. Real talk, something a little about me. One of my favorite movies is The Last Unicorn and I was looking for a new phone case and a new pop socket because my other one was like really wearing off and it kept coming off. So I was on there and I was on the hunt and I saw this pop socket and I was just like, oh my God, this is everything. This is so cute. And I about died. It was kind of pricey for a pop socket, but I just had to get it because I was like, this is the last unicorn. They tried to say it was like a mythical unicorn. I'm like, no, this is from the last unicorn, which I totally want to watch today. I think that would be a fun to watch. But I ordered also this case right here, which was actually really reasonably priced. I think it was like maybe eight to ten dollars, but it also came with the glass case that comes up on the like the front. I was watching the OC on my phone, but it came with a glass like protective case in the front. And mine actually was shattered a little bit because Joel dropped my it was so special funny i was so mad though joel dropped his and kind of like cracked his little glass case on top of it and then the same day later that day he dropped mine and then cracked mine and i was like are you kidding me you literally did both our phones in less than a couple hours and he's just like oops so yeah Anyway, so I didn't even know that it came with that and it did and these things are so expensive at Verizon So I was like to get that in a case together. That was such a good price I'm gonna link that one down below unless I'm like completely off on the prices But I'm pretty sure it was like eight to ten bucks I also bought this other one right here, which I have to return because they actually had it in the section for an iPhone um, XS Max like case, which is what I have I have the big one and they had this one in the same section and I was like, why would you have it tagged as this if it's not it? Because I love the case. These are like the colors I'm trying to kind of go with my Instagram. And I was like, oh, this would be really pretty and stuff. And I just love this case, but it's for a regular iPhone XS or X. And it's not the max one, like the plus. So it made me so mad. I went back onto the thing and I was like, did I just order the wrong size? And I'm like, no. They completely just tagged it and put it underneath that section. Hey guys, so I've got little Riley right here. We are going to organize this pantry. I also got my AirPod in my ear because I have a phone meeting here shortly, but I really want to start tackling this pantry. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to complete it all, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get through a big bulk of it, but let me show you guys what I got. Okay, so I have all the pieces back behind me. I will have everything linked down below. I have to go find the links on Amazon. I'm just gonna go to my recent orders because I don't know where it's all from. I've got some stuff from M Design, which are these right here. And I just ordered a ton, you guys, because I just like, I don't know how many I'm gonna have like need and then it's always the worst when you order stuff and you realize you didn't order <laughs> enough and you can't complete your project so I hate doing that so I ordered a bunch of these um, I ordered 
one of these seal pots right here, which I don't even remember ordering this. Oh, it's a bunch of them. It's actually like the kinds, let me show you. So I've ordered two of the same size. I was like, at first I thought I would order the pasta one. I was like, I did not order the pasta one because we don't really eat pasta. But it came with two of these guys right here, which I thought would be really good for snacks and stuff. So I got two of those. This is from Seal Pot. And again, I will have that link down below. I also got some chalkboard um, stickers and it comes with a white marker, like a chalk marker. So that way I can write down like what's inside. And then for cereals and stuff, I got these three cereal containers, even though Joel's the one that eats cereal, so we still buy cereal. But I don't eat cereal anymore because it has, it, you're not allowed to on keto. And then I ordered a bunch of these guys really, like right here, which I thought would be really good for like little bars and little snacks. It's called Interdesign Cabinet Organizer. And they actually stack on top of each other too. I know, isn't that crazy? I'm gonna move this this way because the lighting is horrible that way. I have so many different types of formulas because it is a hit or a miss. If you guys have a baby on formula, you know it's all trial and error. And it has been just crazy trying to find the right formula. But we finally found our right formula. And I just have a bunch in there. Like even ones that like brand sent to us even before I delivered. Um, so I'm going to be cleaning up those. Looking, I'm just going to hold on to a lot of them. Because some of them aren't even open. And they don't expire for like another year. And I'm just going to hold on to them. Like you know if maybe like my sister ends up like not being able to breastfeed. Or if she wants to use formula. Then... I'll do that. You okay? Time to gut a lot out of there and throw away a lot of stuff because there's quite a bit in there that it's actually probably expired because you know things get lost in pantries. So let's do this. <laughs> you guys so it comes with three and they also come with scoopers which is awesome and it comes with labels and a marker so you can write down like what's inside and the expiration date so i already had some in i have like a special k one right there that's already in there so i don't know the expiration date on that but when i start refilling them i'm gonna put the expiration date on there so that way i know but I thought that was really cool for them to come with scoops and everything. And they come with like, that kit is awesome. It's from Chef's Path and it's just really neat. So I'm just gonna dry these and then I'm going to fill them up. Okay guys, so I finished it. I'm not completely done, but I'm done as much as I can do until I get Joel here. All right, so here is my pantry. So first off we have 
all the baking stuff and protein powders and drinks all right there. Then I have some teether things that I got for Riley, but she's not ready for them yet, so I haven't opened them. And then we have our baby food right here. So sometimes I like to just buy the baby food because it's a little bit quicker and easier for me, but I do make her food. I just do this if I'm like in a bind. And then we have snacks all right here that I have had for a while now because I've been on keto and I can't eat these, which is really unfortunate, but I'm saving them for when I'm done with keto. Then we have um, more snacks and bars, popcorn, popcorn for our popcorn machine actually isn't here. So it's actually in the garage. So I need to get that out. But we have some more bars, keto bars, which are not tasty at all. So those are still there. <laughs> some rice um soups and everything and beans and then the minute rice and then there's i think that's mac and cheese back there oh wait i forgot i need to put these guys somewhere uh i'm actually gonna stick them because i don't have anything to put in them yet so i'm gonna stick it back here because they just kind of stack on top of each other like so so this is what I have here. So I have the cereals here. I'm actually gonna write the names of the cereals. I haven't done any labels yet, but I'm gonna do that later because she's gonna wake up from her nap and I need to relax for a second. <laughs> I'm exhausted. So we have all the oatmeal, my tea, cereal, syrup. And then we have all of my birch blenders pancakes because I'm obsessed. And then down here we have like, you know, trash bags, napkins, and then some extra bins, which I will put up on those top shelves when we clear those off and then chips, and then some of my Jenny Craig stuff is still left over, which I'm just gonna save for when I'm done with keto, so that way I'm not wasting food. And then I have flour and salt back there because I couldn't fit them in that other bin. And then I have all my like cooking oils and everything and sauce, and then Joel's vitamins are back there. Down here is our medicine box, and then we have this pancake mix. We got it at Costco a long time ago, so it's just been chilling there, even though I have all that birch blenders. Then we have the dog's food, and then we have all my um, lunch pails and everything. And then I had these set of knives for my place in LA, but I ended up never even opening them. So they're just chilling there. But that is everything until I tackle up here. There's a lot to tackle up there. But I'm gonna wait for Joel. I just gotta take out the trash, and then I'm gonna sit down and chug some water because I am exhausted right now. Hey guys, all right, so we are upstairs now. We cleaned everything. We, I cleaned everything, got everything in order. She's all changed, she had her last bottle. Right now I have her with me. I'm actually gonna read her a book because we're kind of like, you know, doing the whole bedroom routine, bedtime routine thing. And she really loves books. She gets so intrigued by them. So we're gonna read Ocean Meets Sky by the Fan Brothers. Ashley actually got this for me and she got me some of the like the coolest children's books and yeah so we're gonna read this right now and then after that I believe it should be time for bedtime I don't even know where I put my phone it's all the way over there so I don't even know what time it is it is 7 16 so yeah she's definitely ready to go down here soon but we're gonna read a book first. The one bad thing about not having a like a glider or a rocking chair in her room is I can't really sit in there and read her books. So we do a it in my bed, and then when she gets a little bit older, we'll be doing it in her bed. But right now, this is what works. Ocean Meets Sky by the Fan Brothers. Finn remembered Grandpa's voice, telling him stories about a place far away where ocean meets sky. His grandfather would have been 90 years old today. To honor him, Finn built a boat. A boat fit for a long journey. <gasps> One they had planned together. Sailing with no destination Roam the open ocean singing Where is my heart? Cause I've been wondering where it is been a good day for sailing. So we have a little note in here from Ashley. She wrote little notes in every book. It says to baby, cause this was before we even had Riley. If we knew that she was a girl before that we had her name. Let's see what she said. <gasps> to baby, 
You might one day wonder what you're looking for in life. You might be searching for something you think you're supposed to find or know by now, but can't seem to get any closer to. It might make you feel alone, but everyone's looking for something, whether it's a purpose, an answer, or maybe even a person. My advice is to never stop looking, never give up. Like Finn, may you'll discover something you didn't even know you were looking for, and it's always a journey that counts. Love, Auntie Ashy. A fellow voyager. You know, Auntie Ashley is the best. Yes, she is. Yeah.